emang jahat ya Israel ini ya. Dia nggak hanya menyiksa orang Palestina dan membunuh yang masih hidup, tapi yang udah mati pun dicuri organnya. Nah ini ada video menarik dari AJ Plus ya, yang akan saya terjemahkan. Ini dia merangkum tentang bagaimana Israel mencuri organ dari orang-orang Palestina yang sudah meninggal. Let's talk about organ theft. Israel is not just killing Palestinians on a scale never seen before. Medics on the ground are reporting that Israel is stealing organs from bodies of people they've killed. These allegations might sound unbelievable, but they're actually not new. Let's listen to this Israeli researcher. No, 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 אז עכשיו השאלה מי, ותדמיינו ממי לוקחים. בתקופות מסוימות לקחו מפלסטינאים, ואחר כך זה היה עולים חדשים, עובדים זרים. She said that between 1996 and 2002, she saw organs taken from dead Palestinians to be used for medical research at Israeli universities. The organs were then transplanted into Israeli patients' bodies in their medical facilities. And she isn't the only Israeli to confirm that this has happened. In 2000, Yehuda Hiss, the former chief pathologist at Israel's only forensic institute, said that he and his team had harvested organs from dead Palestinians without permission, that they had taken skin, corneas, heart valves, and even bones. And accusations go back to a 1992 case, when Israeli forces shot and killed 19-year-old Bilal Ghanem, then took him to a hospital in Israel. But when they returned his dead body to his family, it was all stitched up. His family suspects that some organs had been removed. Now, Israel said it ended this practice in 2000. But when we look at Israel's latest attacks, medics in Gaza have reported bodies being returned with missing hearts, kidneys, and livers. But there's an even broader issue here, which is, how Israel treats many Palestinians in death. The Israeli Supreme Court said it was lawful for the Israeli army to hold on to dead Palestinian bodies for as long as it deemed necessary. But sometimes Israel doesn't even return the bodies to Palestinian families. Listen to what Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, a Palestinian physician, activist, and politician said previously on Al Jazeera. Israel not only imprisons Palestinians who are alive, they are also imprisoning dead people. Martyrs, 398 Palestinians who have already died in Israeli jails or uh, in, in, uh, uh, because they were shot by Israeli army are kept in jail. Those who die in Israeli prisons because of a sickness or because of torture have to stay in prison uh, in refrigerators to complete their sentence. There are actually entire cemeteries filled with unidentified bodies. They're known as the cemeteries of numbers because the bodies are just given numbers, not names. Some of them date back to the 1967 war. And this is just one of the ways that Israel not only targets Palestinians, but has a system in place where even in death, their rights are violated. Nah itu dia tadi videonya, bagaimana pendapat teman-teman soal kekejaman Zionis ini, tulis di kolom komentar.